creation. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this spring tie headband. The written pattern is available on my blog or you can buy the ad-free printable PDF from my Ravelry or Etsy shop. Today you're going to need some worsted weight acrylic yarn. This one is made out of Lion Brand Basic Stitch Premium or I'm going to use Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Um, you will also need a 55 millimeter hook, a yarn needle, and some scissors. This pattern is super quick and easy and it works up like so fast. You will make so many of them um, and it's a great stash buster to use up all the yarn you already have. And if you're getting ready for markets, which I know not a lot of people right now are probably doing markets because of all the craziness going on. But if you want to just make them and stash them away, you can do that. Sell them in your Etsy shop. All right, let's get started. Okay, so you're going to start with a slip knot. To do a slip knot, I wrap it around my fingers like this, pinch right here, reach through, pull the tail, pull it tight. Stick my needle in there, pull it, and there you go. So first off, you're going to chain two. So chain one, two. You're going to have two chains on your hook. You're going to insert your hook into the second chain from the hook or the first chain you made and single crochet two. Then you're going to chain one, turn, single crochet two into each stitch. One, two. One, two. So now you're gonna have four single crochets in that row. Chain one, turn, single crochet in each stitch. So you do four single crochets. Turn, and you are going to do 10 rows of four single crochets. So you're going to go all the way to row 12. Okay, so now we have 12 rows total, 10 rows of the four single crochet. So we're gonna chain one and turn. We're going to single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet two in the next stitch, single crochet two in the next stitch, and single crochet one in the last stitch. So that will be six total stitches. Chain one and turn, single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet two, single crochet two in the next stitch, single crochet in the next two stitches, single crochet two in the next stitch, single crochet in the last stitch. So now you're gonna have eight total single crochets. So chain one and turn, and you're gonna single crochet in each stitch across. eight single crochet will be in this row. Then you are going to chain one and turn. So the next few rows, all the way to row 52, are going to be the lemon peel stitch. The lemon peel stitch is double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet. So you're gonna chain one and start out with your double crochet. In the next stitch, you're gonna single crochet. In the next one, double crochet. In the next one, single crochet. Double crochet. Single crochet. Double crochet. Single crochet. Chain one, turn. 
In the next row, do exactly the same thing. So you're gonna double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet. Whoops. Again, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, chain one and turn. So then you're going to continue to do that until you hit row 52. So now I'm going to be doing my last row of the lemon peel stitch. This will be row 52. All right. So we are going to go ahead and measure right here so that we know if we're if it's long enough. Okay, so we're gonna measure from here. And it should be around 18 inches. After it stretches out, it'll stretch around to 19 and a half. But lax, it should be around 18 inches. And then we're gonna do our decrease. This headband is very stretchy, so don't worry, it will stretch. Okay, so now we're going to start our decrease, but we're going to chain one and do eight single crochet across. Now we're going to chain one and turn. Then we're going to single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet decrease. So to decrease, we are going to insert into one hook or one stitch, bring up a loop, insert into the next stitch, bring up another loop, yarn over, pull through. Okay, we're going to do one more decrease. So insert, pull up a loop, insert in next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Then we're going to single crochet in the last two stitches, chain one, and turn. So next we are going to single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet, decrease in the next two, single crochet, decrease again and single crochet in the last stitch. Chain one and turn. Now we're gonna single crochet four. One in each stitch across. And we're gonna do 10 of those, 10, four, 10 rows with four single crochet. Okay, so now we've got the 10 rows of four single crochet. We're going to chain one and turn. We're gonna insert in and we're gonna decrease two. So decrease, insert, insert, decrease, single crochet. We're gonna do one more decrease. And then we are done. We're done with our Headband, so I'm going to fasten off. OK, 
Okay, now it is time to weave in our ends. This is the best way I found to weave in your ends so that they do not come out. Going to thread your needle. So what I do is I go down the middle because I was, when I first did it, I went down the side and then the tail would pop out. So I'm gonna go down the middle and just go through the stitches all the way down. And notice I'm not like going in and under the fabric, I'm literally going through the stitches. So pull it out, clip it, your tail is hidden. Do that on the other side. you end up pulling your tail a little too tight just pull your pin or pull your point back out a little bit trim it there you have it all right so our headband is now done we're going to measure it just so I can show you about how long it is so it is about 22, 22 inches. And then, so when you put it on, you'll put it on, tie, tie the ends. And the ends are gonna stretch out a little bit, but that's okay, because it'll just make them easier to tie. But there you go, you're all done. All right, so there you have it. You're done with your headband. You can tie it. All right. All right, you're done with your headband, and I hope you guys love this tutorial. The forgot to mention earlier that on my blog there is sizes for the toddler and child size. So head over to the blog if you want that, and it's also available in the PDF. Um, I hope you guys like this tutorial and please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and hit the post notification bell so you get notified every time I post. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions or any suggestions for tutorials. I do have some other free patterns on my blogs that don't have videos and so let me know if there's any of those that you would like me to do a video for. Alright, thanks for watching.